Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another video. I'm going to start off here in the concertina sketchbook by putting down this piece of um, dry erase board tape that you see me use before. And then we're going to take our big brush today and we're going to put down some water. So I'm just going to lay down some of this dirty water that I have here and we're just going to leave some of this here so that we can add in some of this Payne's Gray that I made. This is acrylic ink. Ooh, that's fun. It's a little too much water, but I think it's gonna be kinda cool, actually. It's doing some really cool things. I'm gonna let that settle. I'm gonna go back in with this color shaper kind of spread this out a little bit. I think I got a little carried away with the water. So I'm gonna take this paper towel, gather up some of that water. Ooh, that's making some cool marks. Look at that. I don't use this color shaper very often, but I kind of like it. It's kind of giving me some vibes. So here I am working with my jelly plate. I'm gonna put a mask down um, so we can mask off a little bit of that area. And then I'm gonna take some of the bronze liquid text and we're gonna roll that out and put it on the page there. Um, I forgot to, my recording got a little funky here. I don't know what I was doing. I got off somehow. So that's why I'm doing a little voice over here and you can see I'm just taking the jelly plate and making these marks through here. So here I'm going back in with the jelly plate and added in some of those dark blue marks with the cardboard stencil. Unfortunately, my camera did not record that because I have problems today. <laughs> I'm having problems today. So here I am with the Higgins um, sepia marker going in with that and just playing with that a little bit. Just a little bit through here. Ooh, this is fun. Some more bold marks through here. I think that really added something to it. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bold here. This is the Karen Dash Rose. I feel like it needs to go in here somewhere. This could be a very big mistake or the coolest thing ever. I don't want a lot of it. And then maybe to go along with that, maybe some of this peachy color. This is the Karen Dash. What is this? I think this is the salmon. I know I said I was going to keep it minimalistic, but that didn't happen. This is minimalist for me. Let's face it, I'm a maximalist. I'm gonna use all the colors and all the supplies all the time. It needs 
some of this up here. And you know what? It needs, it's gonna need, oh, that really works well with that pink. I like that. Oh, I like these highlights are getting. And I think a little bit of this English red to maybe finish up. I really like the English red with the pink. Let's get with that salmon too. Okay, I'm going to go in with this black Derwent ink tints because I really want to bring this together. And I think this is the way to do it. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm done. I wanted to keep this pretty short and wanted to keep it pretty simple. Um, I really like what's going on up here and how simple that is. And it kind of dives down into this area here. Um, love the pink, love the, in the English red. I like the marks that we made with the jelly print. And I like this sort of unbleached going through here. Um, it might need a little white, but I think I'm going to pass on that for now. I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, yeah, so I think I'm good. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to check out the video to the left and it will take you to another one of my videos so you can watch more. Thanks again. Have a good day. Bye.